Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Prayer for Peace Heavenly Mother of Fatima, Thou hast promised peace. If the sinful world turns to the Immaculate Heart and does penance, we turn to You in the spirit of penance and fill our confidence. Merciful Heart, obtain for us peace. Send a just and lasting peace to the world. Make justice and righteousness triumph over all godless forces, over hatred, tyranny, and sin. Mercifully protect our Holy Mother of Church, our Holy Father, bishops, and priests. Guard our homes, our churches, and our country. Holy Mary, pity mankind in his bloodshed, slaughter, and disaster. Prove to all nations the wonderful love of the Immaculate and Eternal Heart, and lead them to thy divine Son, to his peace and endless joy. Amen. Prayer for the intercession of Our Lady of Consolation. God our Father, you sent us your only Son, born of the Virgin Mary, as a consolation of your people. Through the prayer of his mother, may we find in him the fullness of your compassion and share its blessings to all around us. May Mary, our Mother of Consolation, who brought comfort and strength to Monica through the conversion of the Son of God, help all those in need and bring consolation to them. united with the confirmation of the holiness of life of Mother Consuelo. Please mention your intention. In gratitude of your boundless blessings, we praise and thank you, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
kabayan. Iniibig ko ang Pilipinas, aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukup ko pa ko at tinutulungang maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking magulang, susundin ko ang tuntunin ng paaralan, tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan, naglilingkod, nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. A reading from the Book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 5 to 13. Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and goes to his house in the middle of the night and says, Friend, let me treat those, for a friend of mine who is struggling has just arrived, and I have nothing to offer him. Maybe your friend will answer from inside. Don't bother me now. The door is locked, and my children and I are in bed, so I can't get up and give you anything. But I tell you, even though you will not get up and avenge you because you are a friend, yet he will get up because you are a brother to him, and he will give you all you need. And so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Sit and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For the one who asks, receives, and the one who searches, finds, and to him who knocks the door will be opened. If your child asks for a fish, will you give him a snake instead? And if your child asks for an egg, will you give him a scorpion? If you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Gospel of the Lord. Sign the world today 